Whoa! Oh. All right, we're gonna build a BMX grind rail. The idea is attach an eight foot chain link fence post to the top of a two by four, and then build some feet onto the two by four so it can stand up. Uh, some people do this without putting a 2x4 under the grind rail. I'm putting the 2x4 under there just for extra support. And that way we can bolt more feet on if we need to. or, or so It becomes a little more easy to work with if we do that. So the concept is we take an L bracket, put it on the end of the 2x4, and then drill some holes in here to hold on to the L bracket. And that will hold it in place. Alright, so what I'm going to do is drill a couple holes in here. I'm going to use some big fat bolts. A long one on the bottom and then a short one on the top. The short one on the top is there because I'm going to have one coming in from the top inside the, the post as well. And so I don't want the bolts to bump into each other inside the wood. So I'll just bolt this on and then I'll go bolt the other side on so that the rail is, is held on top of the 2x4. And then we'll drill in to the top of it here and put another bolt through to hold it down and keep it from moving. All right, so we're tightening it down the final way. All right, so that's on there. And it ain't moving. It is solidly, solidly on there just with the L brackets stuck inside of it. But you're not jumping on it. But I'm not jumping on it. So the smart and safe person would drill a hole in the end here and then bolt it or screw it down into the wood. So at least there's a little bit something from the top side holding it down. All right, so we are now using this. I bought a pack of four L brackets. So using this as a template, I can line it up with the top of the tube and figure out where to drill my hole. So my hole is going to go right there, and then I just get the drill out, drill it. And of course, you want to make sure you drill the hole big enough for you to be able to get a screwdriver or something in to to get at the screw that's going to go inside. So I'm going to open this hole up a little bigger and then get a longer drill bit and drill into the actual wood underneath and then uh, put a fastener in there to fasten it down. I right, now made a big enough hole to get a screw through and down inside it'll go through the hole in the L bracket and hold the post down into the wood. Might prob probably put some Gorilla Glue on the, on the screw before it goes in just to give it a little extra insurance. So now I drill a hole through the bottom of the pipe. I don't want to drill too deep into the wood because I'm going to put my screw in there. So just, just get through the metal, take it out, and then I've got my screw here that I'm going to put in. I put some Gorilla Glue on it to give it a little extra sticky power. Stick it in the hole and screw it down. Cool. And then do the same thing on the other end, and then you've got your rail attached to the top of the 2x4. Alright, now you need to figure out how high you can jump. So that's 6 inches. We stack 2x4s to figure out the vertical jump. And then, uh, we know that he can jump 6 inches in the air, so we're going to put the rail at 12 inches off the ground. The, the grind pegs on the bike are 9 inches above the ground, so that'll mean they'll have to jump up 3 inches in the air to land on the rail. This is for beginners, of course. If you're Blake Griffin, then you want to, you can put it up at 2 feet or 3 feet, but we're just starting out small just to help them learn their balance. Alright, the rail is now attached to the 2x4. And we're going to build feet for it. So to build feet for it, we'll take a couple of 2x4s and bolt them to the sides of it. And then build a foot on the bottom. Um, for the bottom, a lot of people use 2x8s or, or wider. Use something wide because a lot of the uh, load is going to be shifting from front to back. Um, I don't know what I have in the garage, so I'm going to use whatever I have in the garage. But a wider one is better. I might even put 2x4s together on the bottom to build a wider platform. We'll see how it goes. All right, we've come up with a design for the footer. I had some plywood laying around, so I'm gonna use this piece of plywood as the base. And then I'm gonna screw a two by four to it in the middle here, and then put these two risers on there, and then bolt the rail in between here. That way this two by four helps uh, keep it laterally strong. And I think this will be good enough to, 
to serve as a base. I may be wrong, but I, people were using two by eights about this wide. So I think that should keep it from tipping. All right, now put that in straight. Can I go? Yep, go. <laughs> so we're putting we're putting the middle bottom piece in first, and then and then we'll. Yay! Good job. And so we're putting the middle bottom piece in first with, with some glue and some screws, and then we're going to bolt the side pieces to that, or screw the side pieces to that next. Ah. All right. So next, we set this piece up on a flat surface, put the side rail on, and then put another two by four under here to balance it. And then we'll put some screws in here and put some screws in the bottom, and then do the same on the other side so we have two rails. And uh, how you how you doing with that drill? Yeah. Oh, you're decorating my driveway. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm bolting the top piece on here. Or, uh, I'm screwing the top piece on the, the second rail on, and I'm just putting a spacer in here to make sure that they're the right width apart. So when we put the rail in, it'll fit properly. Oh, like a boss. Filming. Got a little bit of glue in there. <laughs> And then we'll screw it down. All right, so we've got four screws in there. We've got glue in between. And then I put it, uh, two screws on the bottom and then three across for the center piece. So this is our glorious rail holder. Um, this is just a spacer. We'll take that out and put the rail in there. So that's our support. We're going to have it make sure that they're always jumping this way so it puts the load on the front of the triangle. And then that should hold it pretty tight while they're doing their amazing BMX tricks. They're circling like sharks waiting for me to finish this thing. So let's, uh, let's get it done. All right, so there we go. We've mocked it up. You can see there's no screws in here, but these things are tight enough that they're holding the holding the wood up. So I'll just put some screws in there. I'm not going to glue at this stage. I'm not going to put any glue in here because that way, if we want to make it taller, we just unscrew it and slide it up a bit, or you know, build some new uh, build some new supports for it. You can see these. You could you could raise it up another couple inches and still use these supports. All right, there's your finished product. The grind rail. Uh, I'll give you a close up here. You can see the L bracket that holds the rail in place. You can see the construction of the footers. Notice that I have both triangles footers turned the same way. So you'd want to be approaching it from this end and going that way on it so that the you make full use of the wide triangular bases. Uh, you can use two by eights or something else heavy and wide for, for the feet if you want. Wider is better for stability. And that's that. Now, let's see if the kids can figure out how to use it. The end of this thing is pretty sharp if you were to hit that with your shin or some other part of your body. So what I'm gonna do is take a squishy US Air Force baseball, squish it down, and shove it into the hole. That way, if somebody hits it, yeah, we're gonna just keep working it in there. There you hold that. Uh, use your imagination. Just find something uh, that you can stuff in there. Maybe a super ball if you can find the right size super ball. So now, if you hit that, it's just gonna be. You hit that, and it's just gonna be a nice, soft, squishy bumper instead of uh, taking a core sample of your leg. All right, so we rub a little bit of wax. We got this wax at the skateboard shop. Rub a little bit of wax on the rail just to make things slide smoother. Really does make a difference. So up the ramp, onto the rail. Grindage, very nice. Let's take a look at that. So we've got our rail. I've got a little jump ramp. And he's not actually jumping. You just ride up the little ramp and that deposits you on the rail and then you slide along the rail. So this is great for beginners because there's, it's only a foot high, so there's not where, nowhere to fall, and you don't have to actually jump onto it. This way they get a feel for the balance that it takes to ride a rail without having to concentrate on bunny hopping onto the rail, and then that'll be the next step. 
So you just want to build yourself a rail like this, and then build yourself a ramp or even just get a plank and put some 2x4s under it and that's, that's pretty much it. That's the safest way we could come up with to learn how to grind rails uh, in a safe environment. And of course put it on some dirt and grass rather than putting it on cold, hard, remorseless concrete.